What's popping? What it do? In your life. Okay, let's turn this down a little bit. What's up? What it do? Thank you for coming on my video. If you happen to scroll past this video wherever you see it at, make sure you show your girl some love. Follow me wherever you see this video. Um, leave a comment if it resonates with you. Okay. So I'm open for personal reads and creative art therapy. If that's something you sound like you'd be interested in, hit the DM or email me. Follow the link tree and email me. Oh, it was just a good ass read. Um, um, let me recap the read. That's what I do. Thank you, angels. Recapping the read from TikTok. If you're not following me over there, follow the link tree for um to follow me on TikTok for random lives. I I was going daily, but I don't know. I'm just flowing. I'm just learning to flow. You feel me? So, but that was it was a good read. And the and the message was um share our voice use our communication share our voice for how we feel the way we feel um the way we feel matters no matter if you can't understand it no matter if nobody else understands it um sharing our voice and what we feel helps us feel freedom um singing poetry however it's like the way we feel is the way we feel come with pure intentions. And that's why it's so important because our communication and our feelings, you feel me? It it makes healing in the world when people witness it, when people um, experience it with you. You feel me? So that's why it is so important for you to be true to yourself. And be authentic. And I was sharing how I was so triggered last week by every fucking thing. You feel me? It was like I went out on Halloween and it just went kind of everywhere from there. And it was all surrounding my communication. Where I feel like we've been in a space where we have been communicating. But it was the more of of the authentic us that is required in this season. And it's all about taking up space. It's about um, knowing that we deserve the space we take up and, and it's purpose for us. And never allow anything or anyone to make us feel like we need to be less than who we are. And to celebrate ourselves at every, cause it's a, it's, it's a progress. You feel me? Like we progress through it. We don't just pop in earth and graduate. You know what I'm saying? The next day, every lesson. So learn to fucking celebrate ourselves in every moment. You feel me? Because we fucking deserve it. We really deserve it. Like we, like the lowest class, and I don't even want to class nobody because that's not real. We all fucking divinity, you feel me? So, uh, a homeless person, a, a, dis a, a, a disadvantaged person, homeless, maybe you don't have home, clean water, clothes. They, we all deserve the best equally. It, but it's up to us to make ourselves give ourselves the best. Or, I'm not even going to say the best authenticity man authenticity is so freeing like i, I face oh yeah i just don't know <laughs> i'm so proud of myself i am so fucking proud of myself it showed me so i show myself so much growth i show myself so much growth facing shit that feel uncomfortable because after i face it and though, and I proved to myself that all the anxieties and the fears behind it was fake. And I just learned to let whatever I feel go into the into the atmosphere. Let it go. And there it go. It's, it make you feel better, man. It make you feel like you being yourself. It, it helps. It's like it's like assurance that 
you live in a life you purpose to because you say how you feel. So I just want to encourage you if you hear the sound of my voice to say how you feel. Take up space. Don't expect people to feel how you feel or get how you feel or um, rationalize how you feel. Because cause when you when you feel, you just, it's just something you do. Most of the time, your ass don't even be understanding. Because I know I don't. But I'm going to follow what the fuck I feel. And I'm going to follow it with all authenticity. And I'm proud of myself. Because it takes hella courage, man. It takes so much courage. You the truth. You the truth, bitch. For real, for real. So dramatic. <laughs> I love you. Okay. Oh, let me get into the read. I really be on one, but this is me being authentic, and I fucking love it. Don't you ever, ever stop it. You hear me? Don't you ever, 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 ever stop. Okay, so let's see what decks we pulled out today. I pulled out the... My homemade deck, my first deck. It's homemade and I love it because it got dope energy. It has dope energy. It is. What do people love about you? What do what is your contribution to the world? Do I want to change it to that? Yeah, I think I want to change it to that because who cares what people think? I know that's for me saying something like that. Um, learning how to heal from caring what people think. You feel me? It, it really is about fuck what people think. You feel me? So, but it's a fun deck. You feel me? But I'm going to say that this is what our contribution is in the world. This is the um, perception. That's the same thing of what people think. But okay, I'm not trying to be over analytical, but I just want to always keep us our keep ourselves empowered, empowered, and self aware, and bring it back to self. Bring it back always to self, because that's where everything starts at. Okay, so I'm gonna take every opportunity to remind you of that. Okay. I love when I I love when my goofy side peek out. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you guys, Angel Spirit guys. We about to pull some cards out here real quick. Take it, you know, you know, you know. I got three decks. I got the deck I made, um, Moonology, and uh, what's the other uh, Rebel? Let's start off with the with the with this deck. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, guys. Angel Spirit, guys. Let's see what's popping. 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 If you like to book me for a personal read, hit my DM wherever you see this video at, or you can follow the link tree and email me. Okay. One more angel, because this is about to be a good read. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I feel this energy. Only one chord pops over, and I feel it. You feel me? <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. I love this about ourselves. 
I love this about ourselves. These qualities that popped out, divine soul. I love this about ourselves. Assertive. I'm, I wonder if this show up backwards on here. It probably do. Voice. And nurture. Okay, angels. Okay, give us the message then. Okay, so you, divine soul. You, I... We're very assertive. We often take risks. We often take risks that are not calculated. They're impulsive. And the impulse comes from pull, from our heart and our feelings. And that is part of our gifts. When we want something for ourselves, we go out and find a way to align with it you feel me and we get it we get what we want we know how to speak up for ourselves you feel me yes this is for me and this ain't pretty pretty matter of fact so um that is a great that is a great contribution that you give to the world is that People have the ability to witness and experience your assertiveness because maybe they don't they don't know how to say what's for them. And I feel like um it's great character to be assertive. Being assertive brings out more of who you truly are. You feel me? It shows more of who you truly are when you know how to assert yourself. So uh big ups to you, bitch. So your voice, your voice is like really mellow. Your voice is mellow. And I feel like um, divine soul that you might sometimes feel like your voice sounds funny or you may not all the time. I feel like you, you feel like that you, your voice is calming. So, so your, your voice is perceived as, is felt as calming it's informative it's feisty you feel me like um people like to listen to what you gotta say so i think that's just dope when you can go out and um share who you are with your communication your likes, dislikes, how you feel, your opinions. You feel me? Like, it's felt. It's felt. So, the nurturer, the nurturer card. You all tender hearted, motherfucker. You, <laughs> you so tender hearted. You are so tender hearted. So, so, that's why when you are asserting yourself, even though it's felt as powerful. It's a comfort in your power. It's a comfort in your power. Because you are nurturing. Because you want everybody to be okay. You feel me? I feel like you will um, defend people with this energy right here. You will defend people. You will defend People. Even if you don't know somebody, you will defend somebody and speak up for them when you witness like something that you think is an injustice or something. And it's really healing for other people to witness when you in that energy right there. Because it shows other people how to like stand up and have courage for like every nobody can say what's right or wrong. You feel me? But if we can say like Certain shit be unfair. And it just is what it is. And you gonna speak on that shit. You feel me? You gonna speak on it. You ain't, ain't nobody gonna talk about nobody behind your back. You feel me? You don't talk about people behind their back. Okay, angels. Let's pull some more cards. Okay, let's see what the moonology talking about. Okay. You are a, such a gift. You are a gift to the world on everything. And don't you forget it. And don't you forget it. Uh, no, that wasn't an orb. It was an ash. Okay. 
I was talking to myself. Because that was the first thing I would think when I, um, <laughs> if I happen to replay this video and see that little, that went across. I would have been like, oh, it's a fairy. It's a fairy. Y'all see that fairy? Nah, fairies do be around me on everything. I fuck with the fairies. Right on face for fucking with me. On everything. The angels, they all fuck with me, man. My ancestors, my granny and daddy, I love y'all. Thank you. Thank you for a card from this deck right here. Thank you for a card from this deck. Thank you for a message. Thank you for a message. Okie dokie. This card just fucking came out in the last read that I did on TikTok a minute ago. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, right? So the message is like um, being our fucking authentic self with this energy right here. Being ourselves and displaying that in this now and forth you feel me now and forth and balancing our shadow aspects and light aspects balancing our feminine and masculine energies so that when we are communicating ourselves and sharing our voice that is being received with the with energy of intent behind it. You feel me? Because we don't learn shit from each other if we hooping and hollering at each other or being nasty or, you know, not in the right energy. And because your communication is very impactful, that, that is why it's purpose that you master. You feel me? Master that. And you are mastering it. And I'm proud of you on everything. I'm very proud of you for that. Because nobody knows. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. That sounds like an old song I used to hear in junior high school. But I don't remember. Okay, okay, okay. Now we about to pull one of these cards and see what's popping on the Rebels. Let's see what's popping with the Rebels, y'all. But um, I'm definitely feeling a new wave. It's like new wave of self-awareness and self-expression and, and and the more we face that challenge and shit like we were saying earlier i don't know if we were saying it on this video but when we face those areas in our life that seem like they so challenging especially with our communication because this is the energy that been coming out talking about how we feel and being authentic right in the in the past two reads that came out that's the whole energy is communicating how we feel even if it's freaking uncomfortable especially when it's uncomfortable because when we do that then we show ourselves we teach ourselves that the anxiety that we had allowed to build up the fear that we allowed to build up will go the fuck away it will go away Lose the expectations of wanting to be understood, wanting to be validated, feel me? wanting to be pat on the back, wanting to be whatever, feel me, to how we feel. We letting go of that, and it's turning us into a monster, <laughs> a healing monster, you feel me, just run with it, run with it, it is what it is. Motherfuckers gonna feel how they feel. That's okay. We doing it for us, though. And when we, when we master doing it for us, everything just plays out. Everything is cool. You feel me? We teach ourselves how strong we are, man. I'm proud of you, man. I'm so proud of you. So, 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 so. Feeling so, 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 so. I'm feeling so, 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 so good. I'm feeling so, 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 so. Who is that? Destiny Child. I'm feeling so, 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 so good. Bam. 
figure shit out on your own. You feel me? It ain't it ain't for people to get what you are saying or what you are feeling. It ain't for people to be like, okay, I get it. I fucking get it. Gold star for you. No. It's for us to do it for our fucking selves. And the more we grab a hold of that and internalize that it's for ourselves, then the more we find the freedom and the shit do get figured out on our own. That's going to be it. One more. Is that going to be it, angels? No, no. Hold on, 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 hold on. I am committed to bringing forth my greatness. I will no longer play small. Okay? No longer minimizing what you feel or what you think that's best for you. Express yourself in your rawness, in your trueness, in your fullness, in whatever you, whatever it's called to be in that moment and celebrate yourself for doing it. Because it takes great courage and, and great strength, you feel me, to do it. And to not care no more. This is so, this is some fucking freedom energy. This is this is some like like I'm saying, y'all, the space. I feel like divine soul, you about to take up so much space because it's so healing and important how you feel and think. God is going to increase your territory to something that you can't even fucking imagine. That's why it was so hard for you to learn how to talk and communicate because God had to use that challenge to show you, to break something off of you that would be so impactful in the world. And I'm just so proud of you for never giving up on yourself. I'm so proud of you for... um. Walking in your fullness and accepting it and celebrating it and sharing it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. That's the damn. This was a dope ass read. Okay. It's safe to slow down, relax, and let go. You feel me? So, this is like um, losing the anxiety of freeing ourselves. This is. Showing up to them challenges and looking them directly in the eye. Even if your knees is buckling at first. Even if your knees is buckling and shaking. Even if even if you have a nervous twitch. Still show up and, and look it in the eye. And I promise when you show yourself that you're able to do that. When you show it and prove it to yourself. And then... Knowing your gut that it's just for you and nobody else, that's a strength that nobody will, that's a strength that'll keep growing and growing and growing in, in every area. For real, for real. And I'm living witness. Okay. I'm proud of you. Be proud of yourself. Okay. We off this thing. Deuces. <laughs>